Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Crafty Apothecary's YouTube channel. It's that time of year again when witches, black cats, ghouls, and vampires roam freely. With the Halloween season, we thought we would discuss one of the holiday's most traditional players. In this video, we will be talking about the infamous Halloween vegetable, the pumpkin. As we discuss the pumpkin and its health qualities, we will be looking at its history and a few delicious treats. As with any of our products, discussions, or how-to guides, we must emphasize that these are not intended to cure or treat any chronic condition, and if you find yourself in an emergency, to contact medical professionals. Stingy Jack invited the devil to have a drink with him. True to his name, Stingy Jack didn't want to pay for his drink, so he convinced the devil to turn himself into a coin so that Jack could use to buy their drinks. Once the devil did so, Jack decided to keep the money and put it into his pocket next to a silver cross, which prevented the devil from changing back into his original form. Jack eventually freed the devil, under the condition that he would not bother Jack for one year, and that should Jack die, he would not claim his soul. The next year, Jack again tricked the devil into climbing into a tree to pick a piece of fruit. While he was up in the tree, Jack carved a sign of the cross into the tree's bark so that the devil could not come down, until the devil promised Jack not to bother him for ten more years. Soon after, Jack died. As the legend goes, God would not allow such an unsavory figure into heaven. The devil, upset by the trick Jack had played on him, and keeping his word not to claim his soul, would not allow Jack into hell. He sent Jack off into the dark night with only a burning coal to light his way. Jack put the coal into a carved out turnip and has been roaming the earth with it ever since. The Irish began to refer to this ghostly figure as Jack of the Lantern, and then simply Jack a Lantern. In Ireland and Scotland, people began to make their own version of Jack's lanterns by carving scary faces into turnips or potatoes and placing them into windows or near doors to frighten away stingy Jack and other wandering evil spirits. In England, large beets are used. Immigrants from these countries brought the jack-o'-lantern tradition with them when they came to the United States. They soon found that pumpkins, a fruit that's native to America, make perfect jack-o'-lanterns. For this, we will be carving out a pumpkin. So, let's gather our materials. One large carving pumpkin, one medium serving spoon, one medium knife, one small knife, and a newspaper or a towel. You will also need a Sharpie or a black marker. Step one, cutting out the stem. Take your larger knife and cut the pumpkin at a 45 degree angle toward the center of the pumpkin. Make sure that the top is big enough to fit your hand into. If you're unsure, you can take your marker and make a circle around the stem that is roughly the circumference of your open palm. If the stem is not cut at an angle, it can accidentally fall into the pumpkin when you put it back on. Step 2. Scooping out the guts. Using your hand, you can scoop out most of the seeds. A great low-fat snack are baked pumpkin seeds. Separate them from the guts and set them into a bowl. Once the insides have been removed, take the spoon and scrape the sides to make sure that everything is cleaned out. Step 3. Making the face. Find the smoothest side that you can, if this is your first time. More elaborate carvers can use any side and turn it into something unique. For this, we will keep it simple. Some carving sets come with tracings if you want to make one of them. Basic faces consist of eyes and a wide mouth and sometimes a nose. Step 4. Carving the face. Take the smaller knife and begin to cut the face out. Take care that the more elaborate it is, the longer it will take. And once you are finished, you can take the cloth and wipe off any goo or marker that may be left over. If you use permanent marker, it may be more difficult to take off. 
so using dry erase marker or Crayola markers are best. The final piece is to set in a candle and present it. Now that we have all of this pumpkin goo and the seeds, we can do something with these. If you're the type like us who prefers to use every part of what they have, then let us show you the benefits of the pumpkin. One cup of cooked pumpkin is only 49 calories. It is also jam-packed with vitamin A, C, B2, E, potassium, and iron. Among its benefits are potential weight loss as it is a low calorie food packed with nutrients, antioxidants, full of beta carotene and lutein for healthy eyes, and of course, plenty of fiber. Of course, there are those who shouldn't eat pumpkin, as it can be a natural diuretic. This effect may harm people taking certain medicines such as lithium. Diuretics can impair your body's ability to remove lithium, causing serious side effects. Although pumpkin is healthy, many pumpkin-based junk foods such as lattes, candies, and pie fillings are loaded with added sugar. They do not offer the same health benefits as consuming the fruit. But first, let's do something about these seeds. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, we'll get our materials. We'll need one cup melted butter, one cooking bowl, one baking sheet, one pinch of salt, and one sheet of tin foil. Take a sheet of tin foil and lay it onto the baking sheet. If yours is non-stick, you may not need it, but I like to use it just to make cleanup easier. Put the seeds, butter, and salt into a bowl and toss them to coat them all evenly. You can add more or less salt depending on your taste. Once coated, place the seeds on the baking sheet in a singular layer. This will prevent seeds from being too burned or undercooked. Bake for 45 minutes stirring them every 15 minutes or until they're evenly, lightly browned. They make for a great, healthy, and delicious snack. As always, thank you for watching and following along. If you like this video and this content, click the like button. If you want to engage this conversation, feel free to leave a comment below. We try to like every comment that we see and participate with our audience. Remember not just to like the content, but subscribe so that you can be the first to know when our new videos come out. Feel free to share this video with your friends, neighbors, coworkers, and anyone else that you think might enjoy it. As always, you can purchase these items and more from our online store at www.thecraftyapothecary.com. Thank you again, and we will see you in the next video.